learning more about what economic development is all about and how agencies work together. Joining me today on the top, Dave Stratton, President and CEO of Allen Economic Development Group. And then we have Phil, Phil Buell, the chair of the Allen County Port Authority Board and also president of Superior Credit. So thank you both for joining us today. Good morning. Great to be with you, Holly. Okay, Dave, so let's start. You have lots of partnerships, and I guess years ago, your agency and the Port Authority kind of came together to work together? Yeah, a number of years ago, uh, the county commissioners decided it was appropriate for Allen Economic Development Group to manage the Allen County Port Authority. Great, brilliant idea, because we've been able to move the needle for development in Allen County uh, significantly through the Allen County Port Authority. And uh, that happened about six, seven years ago. And I can tell you this, the last three or four years, the Allen County Port Authority has done an outstanding job of working with EDGE to, to advance development. So Phil, tell us more about the Port Authority, what your mission is. Well, as you think about the Port Authority, you, I guess the first thing you think about, okay, is that is a um, we don't we don't have a harbor, we don't have boats. So, what is the Port Authority doing in Allen County? But it really is an economic development tool that is given to us by the state of Ohio for us to use. And and with it, we really develop on a lot of things, whether it be transportation, infrastructure, buying, selling property, um, providing financing op opportunities for um, local businesses. And like Dave says, over the last few years, it's been extremely busy um, with with the port. You know, a lot of folks don't even realize we do own the railroad that runs from Lima to Spencerville, of all things. And that was usually what the Port Authority in Allen County was originally doing. But um, now we've used um, so many of the tools that the state of Ohio allows us to use. And it's been very beneficial to the county. So, Dave, it sounds like they kind of lay some of the groundwork. If someone needs land or some of these things, they can start it up and you can present it to them. You know, a lot of the wonderful development that's taking place down at Commerce Parkway uh, is all about um, not only the county, but then the Port Authority. And so if you go down Commerce Parkway, you go over to J. Begg Parkway, that is all done through the Allen County Port Authority. So you have companies like Logoplast, Randall Bearings, Perry Protech. All of that really has been blessed by the work of the Port Authority working along with EDGE. And then we're looking for other land, you know, options on land that would be to advance Allen County. And to be honest, Phil and what he's doing as chair, uh, I can tell you this, I got to get enough, I can't get give enough, um, you know, tip of the hat to, to Phil. Um, the last three or four years, the Port Authority now meets once to twice a month because of all the activity. We're going to give him a lot of credit for that. So Phil, I guess this keeps you busy then. Well, we have, we have a good volunteer board. I think that's the piece of it. We have uh, some community folks that are very um, um, oriented toward just seeing that uh, the county continues to um, progress and find ways to bring new jobs and keep the existing businesses that we have here. And um, just a nice cross-section of folks. And uh, we're really happy that we can help the Port Authority and help Edge do their work. You know, you mentioned to keep the businesses here and let them grow. Dave talks about that a lot. So that's important to the Port Authority, mm -hmm. too? Absolutely. I think when it, you know, we, you know, our, you know, you think about Procter and Gamble, for example, we're continuously always working with Procter and Gamble on the good work they do out there on the on the east side. And then you think about Charles River over in Spencerville, and we've been able to help um, in Delphus with road infrastructure. All of these programs are are possible because we we're able to access funding through the state, and it really needs to flow through the the, uh, the, the Port Authority. So. Um, yeah, it's just a wonderful, just a wonderful tool that has been really underutilized here in Allen County that is really becoming a um, nice, nice piece for us to use. Right, yeah. So Dave, yeah, I mean, if they've got the tools and some of that money that the state can give them, that's, that's great that you guys can work together. Well, you know, the accessibility of funding because of the Port Authority has opened up all kinds of opportunity for us in Allen County. And, and Holly, you and I have talked about the Allen County Home Project. Let's face it, that project, there would be a blighted building sitting out there on 81 if it wasn't for the work of the Port Authority working for uh, demolition remediation money. You look at the EDCO project, uh, this is a project on Bell, Bell Fountain Avenue and Kibbe Street. This was a blight. And because of the Port Authority and accessibility to be able to look for funding and, and for Phil and his, and his board to, to bless what we're trying to do, um, it, it's advanced to Lima Allen County in a tremendous way. Wow. It's really neat to hear how you guys are working together, the Port Authority and Allen Economic Development Group. So thanks for sharing with us today. Appreciate you having us, Holly. Thanks, Holly. Have a great day. You too. Thanks for joining us, guys. Don't go away. Noon Edition continues in a moment.